fabulous and wonderful day to our dear parents, teachers, and learners. Today, join me in a new episode where you can share and learn from here on Project Dream, the vision remediation and enhancement of aptitude in mathematics. I am Mrs. Irene Palero. You can call me Mom Irene. I am a grade 4 teacher from Addition Hills Integrated School and I will be your teacher lecturer for this week's math lesson. Come on and let's learn mathematics. Quarter 1, Week 8, Mathematics 4, Solving Routine and Non-Routine Problems Involving Multiplication of Whole Numbers. Objective, Solves Routine and Non-Routine Problems Involving Multiplication of Whole Numbers. There are two categories of problem solving. We have routine problem and non-routine problem. Routine problem, it involves using at least one of the four arithmetic operations and or ratio to solve problems that are practical in nature and also involves series of steps or problems that have solutions which can be immediately identified. Sample of routine problem. Derek receives from her mother the amount of 55 pesos as his daily allowance in school. He saves 5 pesos for future expenses. How much does he save in a month if there are 21 school days? How to solve the routine problem? A. Understand Under understand, number 1. Read and understand the problem. Number 2. Know what is asked in the problem. In the given problem, Derek saving in a month if there are 21 school days. And number three, find the necessary information. The given facts are 5 pesos for daily savings, 21 school days in a month so 55 pesos is not a necessary given fact because the focus is savings not monthly allowance letter B plan number one determine the operation to be used so in the problem the operation is multiplication. Number two, write the number sentence. The number sentence in the problem is 21 times 5 pesos equals N. Letter C, solve. Solve using the operation. 21 times 5 is equal to 105 pesos. Letter D, check and look back. See if your answer makes sense. State the complete answer. You can also use a calculator to check. The correct answer in the problem is Derek saves 105 pesos in 21 days. 
non-routine problem can be solved without using a standard procedure. They can be solved by drawing a picture, using a number line, acting out, making a table, and others. Sample of a non-routine problem. People are lining up for financial assistance. They should maintain social distancing with 2 meters apart. If there are 10 people, what is the total distance from the first person to the last person lined up for the assistance? You can solve by drawing an illustration first. Look at the illustration. Since there are 9 spaces between the first person up to the last person, we are going to multiply 9 by 2 is equal to 18 meters. Remember, to solve routine problems involving multiplication of whole numbers, including money, using appropriate strategies and tools, follow these steps. Understand. Under understand. Know what is asked. Know the given facts. Next, plan. Under plan, determine the operation to be used. Write the number sentence. Next step, solve. Use the operation to solve. Then we have the last step, check and look back. Write the correct answer. Remember, non-routine problems can be solved by drawing a picture, using a number line, making a table, and others. You know already how to solve routine and non-routine problems. Let's have an activity. Activity 1. Use the table to answer the following questions. The table is about Dave's medical supplies, face shields, 9 pesos, face mask, 5 pesos, hand gloves, 10 pesos, antigen test kit, 1,500 pesos. Here are the following questions. Number 1. How much will be the cost of two pieces face shields? Number 2. How much will be the cost of 8 pieces face masks? Number 3. How much will they be spend for 4 pieces of medical hand gloves? 4. How much would be spent by Palero family pay for 4 pieces of rapid antigen test kit, 4 pieces of face shields, and 4 pieces of face masks? Now, you are going to solve the problem. Are you done answering? If yes, time to check. Let's do the checking. Number one problem. How much will be the cost of two pieces face shield? The correct answer is 18 pesos. Number two, how much will be the cost of eight pieces face masks? The correct answer is 40 pesos. Number three question, how much will they spend for four pieces of medical hand gloves? The correct answer is 40 pesos number four how much would be spent by palero family for four pieces of rapid antigen test kit four pieces of face shields and four pieces of face masks the correct answer is 6056 pesos
Let's proceed to Activity 2. Read, Analyze, and Solve. Problem number 1. A box of face mask costs 35 pesos. How much will you pay for 10 boxes? Problem number 2. Derek is a thrifty student. He opened a student savings account in a bank. Every month, he deposits 150 pesos. How much money will he have in the bank after 12 months? Now, you are going to solve the problem. Are you then answering? If Are you then answering? If yes, time to check. Let's do the checking. Number one problem. A box of face masks costs 35 pesos. How much will you pay for 10 boxes? The correct answer is 350 pesos. Problem number two. Derek is a thrifty student. He opened a student savings account in a bank. Every month, he deposits 150 pesos. How much money will he have in the bank after 12 months? The correct answer is 1,800 pesos. Good job, children!